Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and I'm so glad that you're here today. Today I have a review on a fun tech gadget that I recently purchased for myself and thought that you guys would be interested in hearing more about it. So in today's video, we're talking about the Fujifilm Instax photo printer. Now this is of their Instax line. So many of you may be familiar with the cameras that then print Polaroid photos. And that is the same concept. This is actually a Polaroid printing photo printer. So the photo paper are actual Polaroids that will print and then take several minutes to develop and see that image come to life. So it's got that fun old school Polaroid vibe with the technology of using your actual photo roll from your phone to make sure that you get pictures you actually like. So if you're someone like me, you love taking pictures and making memories and documenting those memories as you go along. Yet, a lot of times our photos end up staying on our phones nowadays. We tend to print photos less, and yet sometimes I really miss having those actual physical, tangible things to help us remember those memories and put them in our houses and regularly see people that we care about that may not be near us all of the time. So enter in this photo printer. So I filmed myself unboxing the printer for the first time, downloading the app, inserting the film and printing off several photos so that you guys could see the process from start to finish. And I'll also provide you with my review at the end. One thing to be aware of is that this printer does not come with any film whatsoever, so I did purchase it separately, and it requires the same film that their Instax camera requires, which is the Fujifilm Instax Mini Instant Film. As you can see, the printer comes compactly packaged, and it's very sleek, and the packaging reflects the color of the printer. You can see that there's a portal for your charging cord, a slot for your film, and there's an ejection area where your photo film comes out and then will develop over time. It also has that button there, that Instax button, that will light up with different colors to let you know what the printer is doing. I chose the color dusty pink for my printer because those are the kinds of colors I enjoy and I find that it's really pretty. Inside the box you will find the paperwork which includes a registration paper if you, if you so choose to do so. It also comes with some warnings which are very important. So for example, do not open the back cover of your printer unless you've used up all the film, otherwise your film will be useless. So that's very important to know about Polaroid film, not to expose it to light. And it also comes with an extensive instruction booklet that lets you know what the printer comes with. It lets you know what all of the different colored lights mean. And it also gives you instructions on how to charge and how to fill your photo printer with the instant film. Again, at the beginning of the process, I found this instruction booklet with all of the details on what each color meant to be very helpful so that I knew exactly what the printer was doing. Otherwise, it's kind of a mystery. One thing to note is that this doesn't come with a charger itself. It simply comes with a cord that you can fit into one of your universal chargers. It's extremely short, so you'll see that I had to bring my surge protector up onto my desk so that my charger could reach. And this is a bit of a problem when you're trying to charge it. However, it's something that can be accomplished, though a bit inconvenient. So once it is charging, it will flash green and then it'll glow green once it is entirely charged. Now this printer connects to your phone via Bluetooth so you don't need any cords to actually attach it to your phone and that is a nice feature. Once you have charged your printer, then you can install your film. So I filmed the process here of opening a film cartridge which holds about 10 photos and you need to match the yellow marks to each other in order to make sure that the film is installed correctly. So it's quite simple, you just need to make sure that it's matching, it fits perfectly in, and then you need to give it a strong close so that it, the printer will know to eject the unnecessary pieces of that cartridge and now your film is ready to go. It's very important not to open the back of your photo printer after you've done this, otherwise you will ruin your film and it will no longer develop. 
In order to use your printer with your phone, you are required to download a free app from the App Store for your particular phone. So I went into the App Store for Apple, typed in Instax, and immediately the Instax mini link popped up. I hit download and began the process. Instantly, the app sends you through several different permissions that are important to allow in order for the printer to access the photos on your phone. I've left all of this up for you guys so that you can follow along if you are also setting up your printer for the first time. And it also gives you a little bit of information as to the different modes and how you can use this printer in different ways. It comes with lots of fun features like a party print, um, a repeat photo print, and so on and so on. It gives you basic information and it is um, quite easy to use. Next, you need to go in and set up the Bluetooth connection between your printer and your phone and all of that is done within the app. It's very simple and once it has connected via Bluetooth you'll see a change of color in your app which is reflected every time you use the app. So you'll see this blue color switch over to this sunrise gradient whenever your printer is on and the phone is connected to it. The two modes that I used the most are the simple print and the frame print. You can definitely bring this to a party and let your friends connect and have a lot of fun with those features, but I think most of the time we're probably just going to be printing off photos that we want for ourselves. So once you hit that particular mode of your choice, it sends you to your photo roll and then you can search or choose the photos according to your preference. One of the nice things about this printer is that it does allow you quite a few editing features so you can go in there you can add text you can rotate your photos you can zoom in you can bump up the saturation you can choose a filter for your photos it's very intuitive very simple to use if you've ever used Instagram you'll definitely be able to use this app quite easily and this really helps make sure that your photos come out as well as they possibly can considering that it is a Polaroid printer. So one thing I will suggest from having printed off quite a few photos at this point is that if you have a photo that has quite a bit of light, for example you took it outside or it's just a very well developed photo, if you go in and bump up your saturation and your contrast, it'll look a little bit overdone in the app but it will be very good for the end result of your photo and it'll really make sure that those colors come out vibrant and looking much more true to the original photo. One fun feature is that you can add text and you can have your choice of several different fonts and colors. You can also use a frame template that they have available and that gives you a lot of freedom to create photos that are more personalized to your particular taste. You can also use the Instax camera feature to take a photo straight from the app and print it that way as well. Here I'm giving you a quick scroll through some of the frames that they provide and I was definitely impressed as to the quality of the frames and how well they do print with your photos and I find that there's a good variety so I think there's a little bit of something for everyone. Once you're ready to print off your photo, you just hit that red button or swipe up and your printer will begin printing. Your photo will come out white at the beginning and develop over time. You'll see that it starts to build up color little by little and about at the five minute mark, I would say it's fully developed and has the full saturation of color. So you, here you can see just how those photos look throughout the process and I think that the end result is quite impressive. I really was impressed by how well this little printer did and I really liked the features. The frames are fun and vibrant and it can add a lot of pizzazz to your photos and the overall quality I think is really great. Now it is easy to get washed out typical Polaroid looking photos with this. I don't think that that's a big problem because I like the overall results. It's very nostalgic and memory-like to me, but that is something to be aware of. And once you kind of get the hang of it, you'll know how to adjust those features in your app, in the editing, in order to make sure that your photos come out the way that you like. 
So I'm just showing you really briefly one of the ways that I like to use these photos and that is in my bullet journal. I did a really simple like journaling page here just to show you guys a variety of photos and how well they turn out. So I just took a lot of like landscapes and florals that I had in my camera roll and printed them out and put them in this particular journaling page. But it works really well with portraits and photos of people's faces as well. I just didn't want to show anyone from my personal life online without their permission. So it's really easy to add some adhesive to the back of these photos and stick them up in places to be seen. And I find that it's a really great overall effect and I'm very, very pleased with this printer as a whole. Overall, I really enjoyed this photo printer. I think it works beautifully for what it does. So as long as you understand that it's a Polaroid photo printer, that you're not gonna have the sharpest, most beautiful pictures in the world, then I think you're really going to enjoy the portability of this, the Bluetooth capability. I think you're gonna enjoy the app and all the features it has to offer. And I think you're really gonna enjoy being able to print off those quick memories that you can share with your friends or put in a memory keeping device like a scrapbook or a bullet journal. So make sure that you guys like this video if you found it useful or helpful. And let me know in the comments, have you gotten anything similar? How would you use this photo printer? And if you're gonna pick it up in the future, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for future videos and stay a while. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.